follow the temperature behavior, the south vestibule, the AC. So this is the, the vestibule that's closest to my list hall. It's on the south side. It's a big glass wall. And we included a photo to make it slightly more clear. So the, this bit, the big glass windows help a lot of um, heat from the sunlight to enter. And the heat escapes to the outside and to the rest of the AC as well. Um, there's no solar heating when it's dark outside, but there's convection cooling all of the time. So that's one of the kind of major tenets of our model. And importantly, our model does not include the, AC, the um, AC's HVAC system applying to this vestibule. It assumes that this is completely like unheated, unconditioned, and the only source of heating and cooling would be convection cooling and um, heating from the sun. So there's a bunch of seasonal, seasonal shifts that can be observed in this um, little vestibule. Um, the change in the sun angle during the course of the um, day and the year means that more or less heating occurs in the vestibule. And additionally, the outside temp varies over both the course of the day and the year. And those two mean that if we actually have a very accurate um, model for both seasons and day and night cycle. And that leads very nicely into our stock and flow diagram. So we only have one source of um, flow into the stock, and we have one flow out of the stock. Our stock is thermal energy in the room, and our flow in, and our flow into the room is heat energy from the sun, and our flow out of the room is energy exiting due, due to convection cooling. So our model has a bunch of limitations. It's a lumped model, meaning that the heat of the walls and the air are assumed to be the same, and that's not quite true because, the, in fact, the walls absorb the energy in there and then slowly release it back out into the air, but that's okay. Overall, this model works well enough. Um, it doesn't account for a slow release of heat, but that it also doesn't account for wind, people moving in or out of the AC, and there's a variable amount of sun over the course of the year. So pretty much we use Newton's law of cooling for our um, convection cooling and a sunlight function that we derive carefully and we use parameters from the internet, from the real world, and also ones that were derived to make the model work. So this is what our model ended up looking like. Um, you can see that we have a general trend over the course of the year where it gets hotter during the summer and cooler during the winter. Um, but then also you can't really see in this graph that you can see here that there are a bunch of little sine waves within this which represent individual days of the year. Um, so, for instance, during the summer, um, those days are going to fall at higher temperatures, and you'll see that this comfortable temperature line, which is delineated in blue, um, will be reached towards the, the uh, beginning and middle of the day, and then at the peak temperature of the day, it's too hot to fall within that comfort level, um, so it's going to be over the, the blue lines rather than within that comfortable zone. Um, and then during the winter, um, the days are going to be down here, and they're not going to be able to reach that comfortable level, so you're not going to have any part of the day reaching that level. So during the spring, um, you'll reach a comfortable level of a temperature um, during the peak temperature of the day, so around 2 or 3 in the afternoon. And then during the summer, you're going to reach that time uh, maybe during like 11 in the morning and then 5 in the afternoon. And then during the fall, you'll go back to hitting it at the peak of the day, and then in the winter, you will not hit the temperature at all. So this final plot is a plot of the cumulative points uh, of the day during which it's comfortable to enter the AC, that is when the temperature of the room is between 20 and 26 degrees Celsius. So as you can see from this plot, there are times of the year when it's considered not comfortable during any time of the day to enter that room, and then there are times when it's considered comfortable during entire segments of the day to enter the room, as well as times when as well as days when it's considered comfortable to enter at the beginning or the end of the day because the temperature during the middle part of the day is too high. Um, this can be clearly observed during the summer portion of the year when the temperature um, around noon is very high and well above 26 degrees Celsius. Um, so in conclusion, this model um, is lacking in many factors, however, uh, it was partly chosen because we wanted to model a more interesting question of how the vestibule's temperature reacts to uh, solar heating throughout the year.